Alright, I think it's about time we tackle another Resident Evil game. This time, it is my favorite in the classic games. This is a personal favorite of mine in the series. This is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. The X version is on the GameCube and the PS2. I am playing the GameCube version, which apparently is one of the most rare games on the GameCube, and I guess that's weird that I have it then. Yeah, the X version... The game was originally released on the Dreamcast, and the X version is just kind of an updated version. Makes it look a little better and adds some scenes in. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. And that is why you don't ever buy games from GameStop. It's always in this opening cutscene, my, my game just stops working for some reason. This is the cutscene when you realize the series goes in a more action-oriented, uh, kind of direction. Don't move.
So I'm not sure why, but this part you have to do in the gameplay. I don't know why. I wish it was just one big cutscene. Doesn't need to have this little part where you switch to the lighter. case this prison's been taken over, troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. So first off, I want to bring something up, and that's that this game does not run a progressive scan which means we're going to have those big black bars at the side of the screen. I can, however, zoom in on the cutscenes to make them fill up the screen much better, so the cutscenes are going to look much better than the gameplay, but I don't, I don't think it's really that distracting or anything. Uh, I could have played the HD version of this game that was released like a couple years ago uh, with Resident Evil 4, but uh, I don't know, I don't think the game looks as good. It doesn't look as atmospheric in uh, like bright, crisp HD. But uh, this dude here, we're not going to be uh, seeing him again for quite a while. We're going to take our combat knife as the only thing we really have right now. We don't have a gun. We just have some bullets and uh, a knife. Here is our first typewriter. I'm not going to use it right now because I don't need to. Now, I did say that the next Resident Evil game I was probably going to do was going to be Revelations 2, but I figured we'd take a, a quick look at Code Veronica since this was the last game before Revelations 2 to feature Claire Redfield. And it, this is one of my favorite games, and I've been wanting to do this on this channel for quite a while. Now, I actually didn't play this game for quite a while, it was only back in like 2010, 2011 that I first played this game. It was like the uh, the last of the classic games that I played. And uh, when I first got it, I actually did do a series on this channel that was just um, me playing it blind, but I didn't like doing that because I don't like doing games like this blind. So I, I canned that pretty quickly. And now that I actually know what the hell I'm doing, this is going to go very smooth. One of the big reasons I didn't like doing this game blind was that this game is actually fairly difficult and it will kick your ass if you don't know what you're doing. So we don't have to fight these guys, really all we have to do is uh, run away from them. And just get on out of here. And um, I find it funny that each game Claire is in, she has like, a female companion. In 2, it's Sherry Birkin. In Revelations 2, it's Moira. In the movie, Damnation, it's that little Indian girl. And uh, we're about to get a cutscene introducing us to uh, Claire's female companion in this game. It's probably the girliest companion she ever gets. You. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. 
Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. I hate this character so much. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those mark. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. You'll only slow me down. So yeah, that's that's Steve Burnside, aka my least favorite character in all of Resident Evil. I cannot stand Steve. He is the worst. I don't think I would hate him as much if it wasn't for his awful voice actor. And he, he's one of those that, you know, pronounces, you know, sorry, sorry. And it's just, you know, he has weird pronunciations. Um, and he's just so whiny. It's the worst. I hate him. I hate Steve Burnside. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who really like Steve, but my god, I hate him. I really do. But right now, we're just exploring this complex that we're in. This area is going to get really annoying, like, later on, because there's something that is always going to be in this area. There's an herb to our right, but we don't really need it right now, as we've only gotten attacked by that one uh, nude zombie. In here, there's a bunch of guys. There's also uh, some stuff we can grab. I love the, uh, the light that's just swinging and making the creaking noise. It's very, very cool, very atmospheric. I really love this, this island is called Rockford Island. I really love this, this location in this game. I really do. And of course, like other Resident Evil games, there are diaries and memos and journals and stuff like that. I won't be reading them out loud because you can read. I have every faith that you can read. So you can, you know, pause and read if you wish. A lot of the notes in this game are interesting, especially when we get to uh, a location kind of soon. This room is important because, well not important, but it's nice because there is a, uh, a weapon in here that we can get. And as soon as we take that ammo, something is going to crash through that door. So yeah, you might want to, like, save that ammo for last. And then we want to get out of here. But, uh, we do want to kill that guy. Because he dropped a, uh, a weapon that we're gonna want. It's not the best weapon in the game, but it's a weapon and, you know, you can use it. And it takes a lot of uh, ammo to, to kill just one zombie in this game. And I, I actually do like to... Uh, I, I've been practicing this game a lot, which is, you know, how I wanted to do this. And in my practice run, or at least my first practice run, because I did a couple... I, uh, I actually did the beginning part in the graveyard. I killed every single zombie with the knife, and I didn't take any damage. But, uh, it just, it went on for too long, and I didn't feel like, um, you know, having that be the run, because the video, the first video would have been a little too long, I think. But yeah, here's the, uh, these weapons. They're not great. You've got two of them, and you can fire in different directions, so they're good in that regard. 
But as you saw there, they don't. I don't think they really aim correctly. So I'm not. I'm not a big fan of using them. I like the the pistol much better. Ow! Don't throw up on me, buddy. I'm very good usually at zombie dodging, but uh, this area is kind of tight, so it's not the greatest area to zombie dodge in. So I, I would say clear this area out, actually, instead of trying to go around them. It might not work out too well. So uh, that's about it for the first video. I will see you in the next one.